there were certain articles where certain managers were concerned. Are employees just sitting down, binge watching stuff on Netflix or doing laundry? But how can a remote worker navigate these concerns that their boss may have about whether or not, I mean, outside of obviously delivering the goods, how can they navigate these concerns and the uncertainty that certain managers have that are y'all actually at home working or are you doing your own thing? I think that's, there's two things here to notice. So first is, like I said, delivering the goods. If you are accomplishing what is expected of you, and I'm assuming that's clearly mentioned from the start, maybe in a team meeting or something, mm -hmm. was established that this is who does what. So if you do your part and you report on that to whoever you're reporting, that's one thing. And the other thing is being available. So that's mm. another great thing with Slack. You, when people are active on their computer, it shows this green bubble on, in, in front of their name. That means they are actively at their computer. If you step away for 10 minutes, your bubble turns gray, which means you're no longer at your Yay. computer. Learn something. And, mm -hmm. and that can happen. You may say everyone is entitled to a break, right? I mean, right. that's human nature. But the point is that if your supervisor or your boss is looking for you on Slack, you should always respond within 10 minutes. I think that is expected, unless That's you good. specifically say you're going on lunch break or you're taking on one hour mm. or 20 minutes or whatever is your policy for a break. Uh, outside of that, I think if you respond within 10 minutes, everything is, is going to be fine. And sometimes you don't respond, not because you're not working, because you're immersed in what you're yes. working and you may yes. not notice your notifications, but within 10 minutes, you should be able to, to respond. Yes, I think that's good. That's good stuff, Madalena. Because, <laughs> the, I mean, the, here's the thing. Your manager also has a job. Your manager has a responsibility and a job as well. And, you know, I am glad that you brought up the fact that there are times that you can get really immersed in what you're doing and you don't have time to be checking notifications or going to check on email or making sure that you're active on Slack. And sometimes it's stressful as an employee to feel like, oh my gosh, you know, I am working. Why do I need to be checking in with you? But the reality is that your manager also has a job and it, it was such a shift for them where they're not seeing. And there are some employees out there that they're going to be on task and they're going to be doing their stuff and just like in life there are going to be folks out there that will take advantage of stuff and so it's just important for for you to like Madalena said to be available so answering something within 10 minutes worst yeah. case you know worst case scenario and um yeah just being available be available don't yeah. don't feel like you have to to send an email every 10 minutes just right. so they can see you were working. Uh, today, we are, we're, most of us are knowledge workers, right? So we're not really selling our time. We're selling what mm. we do with our time, what right. we create, what the value we bring during the time we work. So because we're not, our value isn't measured in how many widgets we create every hour mm. or how many pieces of- Are you quoting uh, Peter Drucker? That's <laughs> Peter Drucker, I'm telling you. I don't know, is it? Yes. <laughs> but, uh, but it's in the value we bring. So it's not, that's relevant the fact that you accomplish something in an hour or in 10 minutes it's what that, because that di differs from person to person right mm -hmm. and from the level of experience but if you are showing the results of your work right. and if you're available you're gonna be okay <laughs> yeah. Yeah. don't feel like you have to constantly prove yourself just because you are working remotely Right. And then the thing too, is that there are folks that they have managers or people. And so they have different styles for some folks. Listen, as long as you're delivering the goods, I really don't care as long as you meet the deliverable, but you do have other types of managers out there where they need to constantly see that you're on the point. They'll set up meetings at certain times just to make sure that you're on it and different things like that. But at the end of the day, like Madalena said, just you know, just ensure that you're available and that you are also adjusting to whatever leader you have. That's just the reality of the world that we all um, live in. And I think another way, just to add to what Madalena said earlier, in addition to being available, responding to stuff within a certain time period, there consider possibly setting up maybe a weekly 
weekly one-to-one -one with your manager, or maybe every two weeks or so, so, so that you can check in, so that you can apprise them about what's been going on, what you've been doing. Um, that's also one possible way of just engaging with your manager, engaging with your leader, letting them know that you're, you're on it. That's an excellent suggestion. In fact, I love it when, when people take initiative on that and show me, okay, this is what I've worked on this week. Mm -hmm. because I may not have the time to, to check in with people and, and see what they're actually working on. And they might be doing a lot and not, a, not all of it is visible because yes. it's in a stage that a you point. can't see. So making a list of what you're working on and making your manager aware of that, it's, it's trust me, him or she will appreciate this yes. very much. It's one less thing they have to wonder or worry about. And it's, it's better to see that progress that starts things are happening.